We are two weeks into the new year. If you had a resolution to eat a little bit healthier, you might be running out of recipes already. Kowalski Market Chef Rachel Perrin is with us to get moving with some new ideas. Rachel, how are you doing? I'm you, tired. I was said, I'm tired. Everybody's yes. all right. Are I'm, you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I know. We both were saying like we both felt like we we're going to be sick. I, last I felt night. like I was going to be ill, but it's we all good. Around. It it's really happened. Yeah, let's have some sea <laughs> right. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> I know. Um, well, yeah. Let, let, many people are thinking about eating healthy at the new year. They're thinking about eating more fish. A lot of people will yeah. tell me they want to sure. learn how to cook new new cooking techniques. So this kind of encompasses all of those things. You can awesome. eat fish, learn something new, and also have something. That tastes really delicious, and it's also something that fits into most people's lifestyle. This te technique that I'm going to show you, cooking in parchment packets, is something that's very hands-off and very simple for even novice cooks. Oh, so, I like perfect. that idea. Yeah. So we're going to do a piece of sea bass in the in the parchment paper today. This is a firm white fish. It's pretty mild, so even non-fish lovers might really enjoy this fish. You can also use halibut, or you could use um, cod. Will work well too. Does this come cut like this when you get it from the store? Yeah, you, um, you can get it skinned at the store if there's skin on it. But that's you is my concern. You I don't want to do that. You a skinless and boneless piece of fish. Okay. Yep. You so can I definitely, ask the, you can ask for them counter. to do Great. that for you. Absolutely. And so what we're going to do is put a few pieces of, um, or things that are going to give some aromatics to it. But most importantly, we need to season the fish with a little bit of salt and pepper. Anytime you're working with a protein, um, meat or fish, you just want to give it a little bit of seasoning first. So salt and pepper. Salt and pepper is all you need. And then we're going to add some aromatics. I've already done this one here. A little bit of basil is beautiful. Um, and then also maybe some rosemary too. Um, you want about a half a teaspoon each of whatever herbs you like. I like those two a lot. And then I've got some capers here. These are briny and salty, so they're going to bring a nice um, kind of umami, salty, Ooh. you know, tangy flavor to this dish. You want about a teaspoon for each piece of fish. And then a little bit of garlic never hurt anything. Here no. again, maybe about <laughs> a teaspoon of garlic per, per piece of fish. And then you're going to finish it with a little bit of um, grape tomatoes. These are just going to add color and sweetness and a little bit of texture. Before, So this is while it's going into the this packet. This is before it goes into the oven even. Huh. So just a couple pieces of grape tomatoes that I've cut in half. And then a little bit of olive oil on top of each piece of fish just to give it a little bit of fat. This is a lean piece of fish. Mm. And it'll also give it a lot of really great flavor. But we're going to fold How these. How simple is this? Now we just yeah. fold it up. Do you want to try one? Sure, and I'll try yeah. the other. So I'm just going to have you take the opposite sides of the parchment and pull them together. And then we're going to fold it like we're folding a lunch sack. You know, we're going to fold it down once and then twice and maybe even three times. And you want to really give it a good crease because you want to make sure that no air is going to escape. Push down on your edges. You're natural, You've done this before. We, we, I love cooking in parchment. Because it's moist and the flavor is great. And oh. it's simple. And it's hard to mess up. It's really People hard to mess up. People are afraid to cook fish. Oh, absolutely. They are. And this uh, is kind of foolproof. It's very foolproof. And so how long do you cook it? This then? is going to go into a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Boom. And then when it comes out, Kylie, you can pop this one yeah. open. It'll just Let's unfold the paper lunch sack. And you'll see that the fish is done all the way through. The tomatoes are a little bit soft. And you don't have to worry about checking it or anything? No, no. just 15 I'm minutes I'm the nervous in. fish cooker. Ooh, there you go. Kind of it steams and it cooks steams right in It steams and it gives the flavor. We add a little Look bit of that. balsamic drizzle to finish it off. Set. Wow. Have, it's done. We have Rachel's recipe for you at WCCO.com slash links. But don't stress out about this. Just no. throw what you want in the pan and fun. throw it in the oven. That's right. right. Easy peasy. Very good. Thanks, Rachel. Two weeks into the new year. If you had a resolution to maybe eat a little healthier, you might be running out of recipes. We've got uh, Kowalski's Market Chef Rachel Perrin here with us to get moving on some new ideas. Rachel, people are sometimes afraid of fish, I think. They worry they're going to overcook it. Yes, and I know the techniques that we're showing today are baked fish recipes, which I love for beginner um, fish chefs because it's really hands off and it's actually quite foolproof. And it works with a variety of different types of fish. So, whether you like salmon, I know you've mm -hmm. mentioned I you love like salmon, salmon Kylie, or whether you like, you know, a, a more mild white fish, it really works with all fish types. Cool. So, it's awesome. something that's a great technique to learn in the new year for fish and nice. just kind of expand your fish um, eating repertoire. Which fish are we using so this morning? This, this fish is halibut, another okay. firm um, white fish, very mild, similar to the sea bass that we had before, a little bit less um, flavorful. But again, this one will work with sea bass. It'll also work with um, cod. It will work with trout. It'll work with snapper. It'll it's work a good with base, tilapia. though. This will take whatever flavor you want to put on. Pretty much anything. Yeah. Um, we're going to put a really flavorful sauce in this. But as I mentioned before, we're going to make sure that we give our fish a little bit of salt and pepper to start with. And okay. I've just placed this in a glass baking dish, an oven-safe dish that's got a little bit of oil in it to keep it from sticking. Okay. And we're going to make a really simple sauce. This is called a halibut Vera Cruz, and Ooh. we're going to start by giving it a little spice with some jalapeno peppers. This is one oh, okay. jalapeno that we diced up and we sautéed in a little bit of olive oil. 
Creole. And then we're going to add some flavors of the Veracruz region. And some of the flavors that the Spanish brought over to them were capers, which again, nice and salty and kind of a like briny flavor, mm -hmm. similar to olives, which we're also going to add in here. And then a little bit of ground cumin, um, which is oh. just a great uh, uh, flavor for many Mexican dishes. And give that a stir for a couple of minutes just to let the, the cumin warm up a little bit. It'll really bring out the flavor. Oh, I can smell it. Yeah, it, is, yeah. it doesn't take long. No. You really get it. And then we're going to add um, our pomodoro sauce. This is a fresh tomato based uh, pasta sauce typically, but it works great on this dish. You see like the chunky tomatoes yeah. in there, yeah, and the and onion, it's got, yes. it's so much flavor. Got a lot of garlic in mm -hmm. it. And but so you really just buy it already sauce. ready to go. Just buy it already That's ready to go. That's how I like cooking my yeah. sauce. Yeah. We're talking That's simple. Right. You can do this. And about a tablespoon and a half of orange juice here just to give it a a little more flavor of um, the coast there, the Gulf of Mexico, or very. So that what? Wow. Does that brighten it up a little bit? It just with gives the a little bit of acid, and a little bit of little sweetness. Acid. It kind cool. of balances Ooh. out the tomato flavor. We will cook this until it gets a little bit thick. It's going to take maybe one to two minutes. Okay. okay. And then we pop it over the fish that we have already put in the pan here. I, you you want to do, do it? Do it. So you're, you're, I make a big mess. <laughs> you're dressed too beautifully to do this this morning, so I'll just. This you is how just... Kylie cooks at her home. Uh -huh. She's always in I a love beautiful it. dress. I wear jewelry to cook, Pearls. make full makeup. Absolutely. It's okay. Yes, you know. we all do. Throw it over your fish, <laughs> and then 400 degrees. Um, 15 minutes, same as the sea bass that we cooked earlier. That's it. Just put that right in the oven, and then it comes out like this. Garnish with a little bit of freshly grated uh, orange zest and Look cilantro. Beautiful. Ooh. How do yeah. you check a fish to make sure that it's cooked all the way? You well, don't have to worry about that with you, this? You can actually use a thermometer. You want to get to about 125 for okay. most fish. Um, but again, one inch thickness of most fish at a nice hot temperature like a 400 degrees mm -hmm. is going to be about 10 to 15 minutes, okay. depending cool. on the cut. So, Excellent. Yeah. A little motivation to do mm -hmm. some cooking after we all had chicken wings and pizza last yes. night watching. <laughs> Cheese dip. Cheese yeah. dip. Awesome. No regrets. <laughs> Not at all. Rachel, thank you. Yeah.